Did you do your landscaping yourself? <laughs> no. Did not. Have you seen it? No. Oh. <laughs> it's done though. Huh? Uh, it's phases. The backyard <laughs> is partially done, and that's all it's done right now. You decided That's to an easy question. <laughs> That's good. Thanks for being here today. You're going to be in full pads tomorrow? or Half pads tomorrow, half pads the next day, full pads Thursday. For the scrimmage? Yep. Is your regimen relative to contact, no contact pads, etc., more professional in nature, would you call it, this time around, or how would you characterize it? Uh, yeah, professional is a good word for it. Perspective is a good word for it, and then trying to match what we need to our given team. So trying to assess what we need as well. And acknowledging that camp is long and so I don't want to use it all in the first four practices. When, it, when you see NFL teams work, would this be more comparable to what they might do? Very, very similar. The difference then is they go about 10 days, in the, but then they start preseason games. They get four preseason games, so that's another reason they do it. Their season is longer, plus four preseason games, plus the season. So, um, But yeah, our camp is long as well. We just don't have the preseason games. And I have learned that the health of a team is really important, but I've also learned being able to play enough live football plays is important, so it's it's a delicate balance because we don't get to play against an opponent, we play against ourselves, which doubles the risk. So, yeah, you tread a thin line. How do you hope that this approach maybe increases ability to tackle, which some people say hurts when you don't hit all the time? I don't think it hurts at all. Um, I think you, you work your feet even more uh, having to get there and touch an opponent. We have 29 seniors as well. Uh, they know so, how to tackle. Well, I've seen them for a couple <laughs> years, and, and so I... I'm not as concerned about that. And the fact we, in fact, we're getting more guys to touch the ball carry than we were in our old format. So, again, uh, um, it's an effective non-padded strategy. It'll be similar in shells. I just got to decide how many scrimmages we'll have. That'll be the real decision. Is there any element of confidence from, say, the running back group in particular, where they're not going down a lot? They're they're feeling oh, sure, and and they get to finish runs, and they believe they can make every run. Which is so. Yeah, I think there'd be some merit to that. How it plays out, I don't know, but I think there's some merit to it. Can we get an update on Sampson and Hoffman? Sampson and Hoffman are at least through today, and uh, I'll make a decision at the end of the day how that looks. And then, but you could say indefinite. But again, it's based on when they meet the criteria. Um, but we'll see at the end of the day how it looks. Do you have long-term concerns for them? I don't. Anyone else? Yeah, okay. uh, Justin Sorensen. Uh, Justin Sorensen. No, um, he has a meeting scheduled with me at one o'clock, so I'm sure it's to address that and kind of see how he feels. Is it purely a physical thing with him right now? I think so. Okay. Um, uh, the the, the it attempt to keep people up, obviously. Um, is it hard sometimes to get defensive players to go this many days with that constantly being in their mind? Keep a guy up, keep a guy up. I thought it'd be harder there. They've done a nice job, but I think maturity is part of that. Um, they're an older group, so. Again, it's still way early, but they're handling it well so far. Dequan Everett, where do you place him in, in kind of your corner mix right now? He's a second team guy. He's had a really nice camp so far. He and Connie Akua have both been pleasant surprises. Who do you think will ultimately Will it be six guys for four secondary spots or five with Nickel? How do you look at it right now? I don't know. Too early to tell. How's Craig playing? Uh, he's coming along. Yeah. Uh, pleasantly and, and encouraged, I would say, would be what I see now. We saw Adam Hine get a, a little bit more work than normal. Is that a uh, sign? All of our that? freshmen had classes today. Oh. So um, Jamal Willis, Williams, <laughs> that's going to be a hard one, I can tell right now. Jamal Williams was in class, and so more of those reps went to Adam. They weren't split. All right. Thanks. Thanks.